hey you're welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video it's me it's tolu it's tdf if you're returning thank you so much for always coming back to watch and if it's your first time i hope you enjoy watching and you know what to do right you do you know what to do but just in case you don't know i'll tell you make sure you subscribe please share like this video and let's interact in the comment section I'm here to do my pregnancy test. Today is October 29, 2021. So let's see how this goes. This is the first um, test I'll be doing. So yeah, I'll carry you guys along. I know in Nigeria they call them antenatal classes, but here they call them prenatal classes. The ones in Nigeria are always very late. I remember back in the day, um, the when I whenever I visited the hospital, I saw them like they would dance, they would eat, they would juice, like they would they would have you know um, pregnant mommy friends. It was always amazing that I used to see back then. But when I was pregnant with my first baby, it was during COVID, so they offered the classes online. So I did you know a lot of my teachings and everything online. And this time around, I didn't think I needed it, so I just skipped. This was my go-to book as soon as I found that I was pregnant. Amazing book to reset one's mind concerning conception, pregnancy, and childbirth. Karis was also reading this book on the side. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Good morning everybody. <laughs> Whatever time it is while you're watching this video. So um, today is the morning of November 12th, 2021. And my husband and I are headed to the ultrasound center to get an ultrasound done for baby number two. <laughs> you can smile at the camera. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, um, so we're headed there now, and it's just really interesting that the video I made two years ago, when we were going for caresses, has not even been posted on YouTube yet. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Anyway, I'm just really thankful and I'm excited because the last time we went two years ago, I went two years ago, my husband was in Nigeria and I had to go with a friend. So going with him today is to bless him. And, <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so we just finished at the ultrasound center. We always knew there was a baby. Anyway, yeah. And baby is due June next year. June, 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 June. So, I guess this is the time people say, Tim girl or Tim boy. Anyway, the father of the child already knows what the child's gender is. So, what do you guys think? What gender do you think the child's going to be? Do you think it's going to be a girl this time? Or another boy? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Alright guys. Um, Yeah, my week finished out but anyway so I'll, I'll carry you guys along and just pray that i post these videos and i don't wait until the next two years to post this one <laughs> all right thank you during this time caris wasn't feeling too well and he rejected medication from the spoon i had actually tried giving him with a syringe prior to trying the spoon but he rejected it but yeah so after i gave him a spoon he said no, then I used the syringe and he took it. At this time, he was actually teething, but typical Africans and Nigerians that I had around me said he wasn't feeling too well because he knew he was expecting <laughs> a younger sibling. <laughs> After I weaned him, Keris would do this thing where he would put his hand in my shirt and I was told it's common among males, among boy children. Did your boy child do this? Let me know in the comments. Hold on, you guys. It's currently minus 44. And church is moving. I am freezing. I obviously could not lift anything heavy. So I was assisting however I could. Pastor was busy and he was also vibing to his song. My dad was there fixing the vacuum cleaner.
On this day, Aura clocked 52 in her mind and we decided to throw a surprise birthday party. Just if he can rest his chair up here and just, and there's a little picture inside here for him to look at. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what's going on? I looking know, around. Hey, I look at him. Oh. Let's see here. Karis was already 18 months old, so we took him for his first eye checkup. Here am I preparing for my friend's baby shower. So instead of buying baby shower games, I decided to go online, print them off on a cardstock, that's a thicker kind of paper, and then I cut them up. Did you see when baby's mommy came into the room and wanted to go back outside? In fact, she went back outside. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, the baby shower was great. It went so well. We had fun. And baby's here. So, thank God. <laughs> so, your yogurt containers. Let's see your hand. Yogurt and juice box. And is the owner of this box. Nessu. <laughs> Who bought this? You. Diet. <laughs> Not diet, oh. A and W. What? A and W diet? Maybe pizza delivery. This was my first time ever to go with my husband to recycle bottles it was really interesting to see what the process looks like on the outside and to also see how they calculate the token that they give to us if you are in nigeria you can now start earning for being environmentally responsible recycle point does this <laughs> okay so um this is a pregnancy talk really and it's been a while i made a car i made a video in the car so being back here is interestingly amazing all right so guys um i just wanted to give an update about you know how the pregnancy has been going and look at this does anybody know what this is see so i just got my test done and my doctor gave me the requisition to go to the lab and then i drank this and after an arm i went back inside and they got the blood sample and urine sample as well so but anyway i it's it says it's for it's to test for diabetes anyways so um you guys were still was still was still was still in in that phase where we can still guess whether it is a girl or a boy so if you're team girl let me know if you're team boy let me know in the comments i want to know what you guys think i want to know what gender of aburu that's it means younger one in yoruba i want to know what gender of younger one you guys are expecting so yeah um i'll give i'll keep you guys updated as things go and Yep, 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 thanks. My pregnancy had been going well up until earlier in the year when I started to have migraines. And um, on this day after work, I went to the hospital because it was so bad that day. And I had tried so many things, but the migraines just were not going away. It wasn't going away. So I went to the hospital and um, they did a couple of tests. And my doctor advised me to take some time off work. So I took time off work. Anyway, eventually we found out that the migraine I had was due to stress. And looking back at that time, I really had a lot going on. Like I would wake up to get to work for seven 
and at some point i wasn't even having a good night's sleep but anyways i'll get to work early in the morning leave at three before we get back home before we go back to bed at night sometimes there'll be church programs you know life was really busy at that time so yeah i was stressed this time my nesting instinct had kicked in and I wanted to redecorate the house so I carried everyone in the house to the store we bought some curtains and we changed the look Who started us off here low and going $100 at $100 You want to run better than $100 anybody ever ever give $100? Well I don't care where you start me, it's where we finish the counts Who started us off at 75 this was the first major event that I attended since COVID started. It was brought together by this non-profit called Providence for Missions. And what they do is that they support and provide mentorship to church planters. Okay? I was invited by Wura. She's the lady speaking and she's amazing. She's a lawyer and she's also on their board. This was me in the washroom seven months pregnant and feeling myself. I was somewhere else that wasn't church, house, store, or work. On this day, we decided to take a mini road trip and went to my husband, pastor's school. to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i trust you had a lot of fun watching this and if you are yet to subscribe what are you waiting for remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get notified when i post videos about christian faith lifestyle motherhood and love and yes i still have a lot of stuff in store for you about my whole pregnancy journey childbirth and all of that good stuff. Alrighty, see you later.